What's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The 30 is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. All right, so today we have back on the agenda and 30 for 30 just means that we're coming back with new videos almost every single day for a 30 day period so that you could be working out not only in your house or maybe even at the park with body weight training only. Can you build muscle? You absolutely can. Now before we jump into the actual workout, I wanna give you a few tips you could be following not only for this workout but future workouts and let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. If you are in a caloric deficit and want to lose weight, you can still enjoy the foods you'd like. If you do, it won't ruin your road to weight loss. Number two, the more advanced you are, the slower your body weight movement should be for this workout. Number three, volume is crucial for muscle growth. Although we can't use a controlled resistance like in the gym, we can still make workouts extremely difficult. Number four, soreness doesn't 100% correlate with muscle growth. However, it does represent the breakdown of the muscle, so recovery is key. Number five, low stim pre-workout from Create You is launching next Monday, April 27th. Get hyped, I'm excited. Number six, and last but not least, how is your electrolyte intake? I suggest consuming a magnesium supplement at least twice per day to help with muscle recovery. All right, so I'm currently on my platform and we have clap push pull-ups, not push-ups, <laughs> it's a pulling day. And then we're going into a pull-up hold, okay? So these clap pull-ups, our hands are gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart. This does not seem sturdy, it's okay. Generally, you wanna do it in your house if you have some type of a door hinge pull-up bar or you can do it at the park, I'm just here in my garage. All right, our hands are gonna be outside of shoulder width apart. Make sure you are using your thumb. So a lot of us, we're gonna try and put our thumb over the board. That's not what we want, okay? We wanna make sure it's under and squeezing as much as possible. Not only squeezing from our thumb, but also squeezing to our pinky. Now, you're going to want to try and come as high as possible and clap. That's not the goal. The goal is the first half of the movement creating a lot of explosiveness, a lot of power, right? So instead of just trying to pull up and then clap, I want you to explode here and clap. So explode and let go of the bar halfway through so that you are coming higher up in the positioning. You don't, again, you don't wanna to go too high with your chin over the bar. It's not really gonna be beneficial. We don't, wanna, we don't wanna put your shoulders at risk. From there, we're gonna be straight into just a pull up hold. Now your pull up hold, you're gonna want to again be above the bar. Then you're really just stabilizing yourself with your, your body. And that's not what we want. We want to really contract those muscles as much as possible, okay? So instead of being all the way over the bar, you're gonna come a little bit lower and you're gonna be here about eye width to the to the bar, jeez, it's a lot harder than I thought. Maybe I'm a little bit overweight, who knows? <laughs> but our eyes are gonna be at about the height of the bar and you're gonna hold that throughout the movement and that is your first superset. Okay, so we have a push away hold. Now, we're gonna go on our backs. We're gonna make sure that our, we're squeezing our abs in all the way and there's pretty much no room at the bottom of the ground, okay? Squeezing in, not here, squeezing in as so, it's completely straight. Now we're gonna tuck in our chin. It's gonna be just one inch off of the ground. That's the, state, that's the starting position. Actually, you can put your head on the ground if you want to rest. <laughs> you can have your feet just about, I would say, a foot away from your buttocks. Now, your arms are not gonna be right by the side, but slightly out, about 30 degrees, I would say, here, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is keep everything tight as much as possible and squeeze away from the ground, tucking in your chin, making sure that your back is working. If you don't feel your back tightening and working, then you're not doing it right. You're gonna do this for 45 seconds, hold, Come back down and boom, that's your set. Okay, so we have an inverted elevated row, which is paused here on the kitchen table that we're gonna move into door hinge rows, okay? So you're gonna notice that my foot, I'm just, I put a chair under here. Now, many of us can't put a chair, we don't have something that can go completely under it. If you do, then great, fantastic. If not, what you're gonna have to do is just put a chair here and you can either use one foot with one foot on the ground as so, or you can use two feet here and just move over so you're in a good position. I'm gonna try and use two feet and we're gonna see how it goes. All right, so inverted row position. You guys have done this many times already in this series. We're gonna retract and depress our scaps, keep everything straight here. And we're gonna come up, pause, and come back down. Come up, pause, and come back down. We're gonna come up, pause, and come up, 
back down, okay? Now, you can also, if it's a little bit too hard, just put your feet on the ground and don't even use anything uh, in that regard. Now we're gonna move over to door hinge rows. Now we've done this a couple times, you can go over here really quick. Um, now with this positioning, as we come across, we wanna be in like a uh, athletic position, we can call it, okay? Now from this athletic position, I do suggest taking off your socks and having a little bit more grip on the ground. And what you're gonna do is lean back. So you're leaning back away like you're trying to pull away from the door, all right? From this position, we're going to pull while you're bringing your feet closer and you're coming up in extension of those hips, keeping everything tight all the way, boom, and then coming back, okay? So it's about a four to five second row. So again, we're pulling away, keeping our chin tucked. We're pulling a couple steps to create resistance. Boom, in this position, squeezing, tightening everything all the way up and boom. And that is your superset. We're starting off with single arm floor drags each side to arrow inverted rows each side. Okay, so with these single arm floor drags, generally when we're doing a floor drag, we're gonna have both hands up like this, keeping everything tucked. Now look, look at my lower back, it's not here, it's not in an extension position. We're squeezing as much as possible here, tucking in our chins, okay? Now generally, we're right in front of our hands, our, our, our head, our hands, our hand, cheese, I can't even speak. So it's gonna be wide out like it's a lap pull down, okay? Now from this position, generally we come through here, squeeze as much as possible, we feel those laps, all right? Instead, we are going to focus on one arm and stabilize here if we can with our fingertips, okay? So it's gonna be more to the, towards the right. So watch very, very closely. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes in as much as possible, squeeze in my abs as much as possible, and I'm gonna be focusing on that right side. Boom, here in this position, and come right back down. If you can just do it with one arm, then go by all means, but I know I can't, and I need my, my hand positioning over here. Hey, from there, we're gonna move straight into arrow inverted rows on the table, okay? So we just had the chair here for the last set. All we're gonna do, show you, an arrow, just like an arrow, a bow and arrow, if you're gonna shoot it, you're like this, okay? It's going to be the same exact thing. So from here and here, those are gonna be our positioning. So you can bend your knees if you would like, tighten your stomach, stay in a neutral spine all the way through, all up to you again. I'm gonna do it with my bent knees here, squeezing my glutes as much as possible. And I'm gonna be hanging, retracting to press my scap, suspend my neck, okay? And I'm gonna come here to the left, squeeze, come back down. Up to the right, come back down. Now the wider your hands, the better it is going to be for the range of motion and the comfortability of the movement. And then you can also let your, your feet out a little bit further. And if you're really more advanced, I want you to go ahead and use some type of a chair elevation, all right? And that is your superset. Okay, last set is gonna be as many reps as possible. That's what A-M-R-A-P means. It's gonna be chin-ups. Now, I wanna make sure you're doing these correctly because it's a closer stance here, which means that all we're really trying to focus on is our elbows driving in and our shoulders externally rotating. Externally rotation, okay? So it's opening up here with our chest, but also drive your elbows in. What this is gonna do is put a lot more strain and contraction on those lats. We don't really want strain, but contraction on our lats and focus on our biceps even more, okay? So from this positioning, I'll show you here, okay? Now also, I don't want you to round your low back at all like this or round your back at all. I want you to squeeze everything in as tight as possible. When you come up, squeezing those elbows together as much as you can and not going too high about your nose at the bar and coming right back down, okay? As many reps as possible. The second you feel like you're not doing them correctly, I want you to go ahead and proceed to putting a platform under you and finishing them out and really, really feeling that burn or just holding at the top on that last rep, okay? That is your set. All right, guys. There you have it, that is the workout for the day. 30 for 30, I'm super excited because over these, these 30 days, we're, we're just pounding out a lot of great workouts here at the house and even a little bit at the park. You can build muscle with only bodyweight training. If you don't believe so, then you're probably not training correctly and you're not eating the right foods. Remember, nutrition is such a huge part in muscle growth and really building strength. Now resistance, when you go to the gym, you go back to the gym, you're gonna notice that, hey, you actually have a little bit more stabilization with some of these movements because a lot of core is involved with the body weight training movements, all right? So I'm excited to hear your feedback. Comment down below with how you feel. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Instagram, at the B Myers right here, um, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Brendan, this is 30 for 30, and I'll see you next time. Peace.